Hey friends, it's Simon Hurley from Inclips, and welcome to another video here at my YouTube channel. Now today I wanted to do something a little bit different, and I've teamed up with one of my friends here on the platform. Her name is Justine Hovey, and she's a really awesome card creator. And today we decided to create videos together using some of my new products from my line. So we're both going to be using the same two products. We're going to be using the Space Training Stamp Set with all these fun space-themed images in here. And I drew all these myself, so it's really fun to kind of use these on cards together. And then we're also going to be using the Stargazer stencil. And today I'm going to be doing the 10 minute card making challenge. So we'll set the timer for 10 minutes and see what I can create. So it'll be kind of a fun challenge. And then also after this video is over, I'm going to link Justine Hobie's video down in the video description. And you can see what she created with some of my products. So we'll see kind of how both of our cards turned out when we used the same products. But, you know, kind of different styles and things like that. So let's get started. I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes here. We'll start that and put that right off to the side. And now we gotta hurry. So I've already grabbed some of the smaller, littler images from the stamp set that I wanted to use because sometimes I feel like I don't get to use the smaller images as often. I'm gonna grab a piece of stark white cardstock, some archival ink, and let's ink up these images fast. I decided to do some coloring today and maybe that might not have been the best choice, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to grab my sentiment. I forgot. I'm going to stamp this right into the center of the card. Okay, this is already kind of really stressful. <laughs> um, okay. So we'll stamp this down. Usually I'm pretty, pretty bad. Sometimes things don't stamp well for me, so... Okay, that's good. I'm going to stamp the moon down next, and I'm going to create a little background of images. I used to do this a lot when I first started making cards. I think it's a really fun way to use some of the smaller images and create like a background pattern, almost like a patterned paper, um, but creating it yourself. So I'm just going to stamp down some of the images. And these are some of the smaller images from the set. So I wanted to get some use from them. And then this little fish fits right inside of that helmet. So almost like a little fish tank, which I think is so fun. Okay. We're pretty bad on time. We only have 8 minutes and 30 seconds left. So we'll see how much coloring we actually end up getting done. Okay, we've stamped down the stars. Let's stamp another one of this rocket ship. Okay, and I'm just going to continue stamping around the whole background here. I'm going to try to go pretty quickly. So we've only got minutes left. Okay, we'll tilt this this way. And as I stamp down my background, I tend to move my stamps around so that it gives a more organic look. I don't love when everything's stamped straight up and down, so it's really great to kind of move your images around a little bit. Okay, let's grab the rocket ship again. This one facing downward like that. Okay, grab the moon. There's already one right there, so we're gonna stamp this right there. And then I'll put the stars right next to it. Okay. I think that's pretty good, and I'll fill in whatever else in the background with some of these stars. I think that's a good filler image to kind of finish it off a little bit. Okay, so now that we're done with stamping, I'll move all of those off to the side. I'm going to wipe off my surface here. I'll clean that off even more later, but we're going to do a little bit of watercoloring, so hopefully we can get that done. I'm going to grab some of my inks. This is Clear Skies, and I'm putting them down onto a non-porous surface. This is Woof. I'm just going to press that down. Slippery when wet, which is that nice yellow. We'll get traffic cone out. I love this orange color. And then beasting, which is that red. Okay. Now let's start our watercoloring. Where did I put my water brush? Sometimes things get a little messy. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take my gray. This is woof. And I'm just going to go in. Now this is like the simplest coloring you'll probably see me do. Maybe even a little bit of scribbling in here. 
going to try to stay inside the lines there, but if you get outside the lines and make it a little messy, you can totally make that your look. I do that quite often um, because sometimes things don't always work out how you want them to, especially when you're working fast. So I'm going to just paint this little rocket ship, and this is more stressful than I thought it would be. I hope I finish this. Okay, we'll paint my next little rocket ship in, and I'm definitely scribbling at this point. <laughs> Kind of messy watercoloring, but I do like that look, so. Okay. We're at five minutes and 30 seconds. I think we'll get it done. Let's see. And, okay. Just painting in. You know, sometimes I do lots of detail work, but right now we are just adding color as we can. Just gonna throw some gray into here. Okay. Now once I'm done with that, I'll go in with Slippery and Wet. We're gonna color in the moon with that bright yellow color. I love how that looks. And almost, with these water brushes, it almost kind of shades itself because you just grab a little bit of that ink and it goes on dark where you apply it and then you can kind of water it out a little bit. So I'm going in with this last one right here to finish that off. I'll grab a little bit of Traffic Cone for the goldfish. Totally went outside of the lines on that one. Okay. Add a little bit of color into there. And then I'll do the flame down here. And a little bit of that traffic cone. Okay. And inside those rocket ships, I'll paint it yellow. Little lights on in there. We'll add a little bit of red here. Hopefully it's still not too wet. If it is wet, it'll kind of bleed a little bit. And we'll add that there. Then I'll go back in with a little bit of gray and finish off some of these areas in the rocket ship. Okay, we'll paint the top of those rocket ships with that red color. And then with the goldfish, I'll add a little bit of blue inside the helmet to look like water. There is a stamp that makes little waves, which I think is fun, but we're not gonna have time to stamp that today, so. Just adding a little bit of blue paint inside of there. Okay, so look at that fun background. I love how that turned out, and I think I'll go in here and I'll even do a little wash of this clear skies color. So I'll add a little bit of blue into that background there, which is always a fun idea. I kind of water it down quite a bit, and then I'll go into that background and just start painting that color around. And that's just going to add a little bit of color into there, give it a little bit more depth, and kind of finish off that background. If you're doing it on watercolor paper, it'll absorb the ink a little bit less, but if you just want a quick wash of color, this is totally fine on my stark white cardstock. Okay, we're at two minutes and 20 seconds. I think we're gonna be able to do this. Let's see though. Okay, so I'm just adding it in some areas. And if you want it to be totally even throughout, you can grab a little bit of ink and make sure that it's diluted the perfect amount that you want it and just use it with a regular brush throughout. But since I'm using it with a water brush and just grabbing the ink straight from where we added it down, it's got a little bit of variation throughout the background, but I'm totally fine with that. I think it adds a little bit of interest there, so. Okay, we're finishing off here. We're Coming to the end, we got one minute and 40 seconds left, and I think we can do it, but this is not the end of the card. So hopefully we can get it all finished. Okay, once I'm done with that, there's how that looks, and I'll wipe off my desk here just by grabbing my sprayer. We'll grab my heat tool here. While we're doing that, oh no, I got a little bit of water onto my card base. A little water right here.
Okay. Now I'm going to take this card base. We're coming to the last 30 seconds here. I'm going to take it at five and a half and score it right there. 29 seconds left. Now I totally want to pop this up onto some foam tape, so we'll do this pretty quick. Ten seconds. I don't think we're gonna make it, but we'll try, we'll try. <laughs> Okay, so we didn't make it. We got really close, though. We're at adding some foam tape onto the card. Um, so I think we'll finish it off here. We were very close. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just place this right down onto my card. Place that down. Okay, so here's what I created in my 10 minutes. I didn't get to using the Stargazer stencil, but I love how some of these smaller images look watercolored like this onto your own kind of background, like a patterned paper. And I think it turned out pretty good for 10 minutes and a couple of seconds after to adhere it onto my card base. I really like how the card finished off and came out with this really cool watercolored look. All right, so that was what I can create in 10 minutes. It was really fun to do this challenge, and I was a little bit skeptical of coloring in today's video, but I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, the watercoloring was a little bit messier than I would usually do it, but I kind of loved the result, and I'll definitely be sending out this card. All right, now I'll leave a link down below in the description box to Justine Hobie's video, where she also used the same products from my line to create a completely different card. So she's always super inspiring and she creates some really awesome videos, so be sure to check it out. Leave a comment in her comment section, tell her I said hi, that I sent you, and I cannot wait for you guys to see her project that she created. Also, leave a comment down below in my comment section letting me know how you think that I did on this challenge and how you think you would do in a 10 minute card making challenge. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also click that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family here, and you will get all the notifications for my future card making tutorials. I'll see you guys very soon in another card making and crafting video. Have a great day. Bye.